Hey guys, happy Monday. So um, today is Monday the 22nd, I wanna say. Yeah, the 22nd of July. Oh, I just have my third session at La Piel Laser Center. Um, you guys, if you don't know already, I am getting laser hair removal um, on my chin. Obviously you can see the markings from when I went. I need to wipe that off. Um, I'm getting my chin and my lip lasered. Um, and I, this is my third session. So if you guys have missed the first two videos, I will make sure to link them up in the card section somewhere over here. So you guys can, it'll be over here, I think. I don't know. Um, but yeah, it'll be somewhere up here so you guys can watch those two to get caught up. Just so you guys know what the process is like, how much it costs, what all we're doing and how it works and all of that. I did not vlog this session this time because it went by really quickly. It's the same session. It's basically the same thing. Nothing changed except for the strength of the laser. So she took the laser up a notch. Um, so this time it was a little bit stronger. It did hurt a little bit more. This third session was probably the most painful thus far. But it really isn't, like I said, it's not that bad. The first session was a breeze. Like I didn't flinch at all, it didn't hurt at all. The second session was kind of like Ooh, on the chin, especially like right here. It was a little bit like stings a bit more. Um, the lip still hurts the same. It This time it didn't hurt more than the last time the lip pretty much went the same way. But the, the chin, I will say that it does get stronger. So if you are weakling, if you if you need assistance and you need numbing cream by all means get it because if you don't have a high pain tolerance I don't think it's gonna be very comfortable for you um it definitely hurt me and I have a very high pain tolerance like I don't I usually don't flinch um, but this time I wasn't really flinching but it just I was like ooh, that hurts so yeah it probably does hurt people who are a little bit more sensitive it probably would hurt you a bit more um so numbing cream might be it might be your best bet it's not unbearable to the point where i had her stop you know i was just like just keep going the faster you go the less i'll be thinking about it the less it'll hurt i literally was in there for all of what 15 minutes um and the session took maybe five ten minutes didn't take long at all um, they took some pictures before and afters of my chin and my lip, but uh, yeah I just wanted to give you guys an update as you guys can see my lip looks really good My chin my dark spots are lightening as you can see I have one ingrown right here um, From the hair trying to push through but other than that it looks pretty good um, um, I did have some peach fuzz before we started I'll show you guys a clip of that right now so, and I definitely left my camera in the car, but I thought I'd show you guys my updated progress. I do still get a little bit of pimples every now and then. And my peach fuzz, peach fuzz on my lip grew back. But the chin is still looking good, so. But as you can see, the laser took that peach fuzz off. So that's interesting. Um, because the first time that I got it done, um, the laser did not take off any of the hair and the hair had to fall out over time. I'm really impressed with my results so far. And I, this is my third session, so that means the next time I go in, I'll be paying for my next set of sessions, which she said will be the same price. I'll be paying for four sessions instead of three um, because it's buy three, get one free. But the next time I go back will be in August and that will be the next time that I purchase my next set of appointments. I'm excited about that. And then I also think that I will be purchasing um, another, another treatment area um i'm debating on whether or not i want to go ahead and do my underarms first or if i want to move forward to like my stomach i want to start on my stomach this year you know if the lord says the same the next couple years i do want to have a kid and if i get pregnant i want my stomach to look cute because i was talking to my um i was talking to my wax lady she was like yeah if you do get pregnant like you're not gonna want to get your stomach wax it's gonna itch so bad like your stomach stretches out it's gonna itch you know when it does happen i want to be ready so i feel like if i prepare myself now i don't have to worry about it when i get there just taking some precautions because i mean i'm getting older and we do want children so okay i want my pics to look cute and i want to have a cute belly anyways that was totally like a tangent but whatever i feel like at this point in my life not talking about kids is not gonna stop people from asking me about them so i might as well just say what i feel 
so I'm gonna go now. I need to go to the mall actually. I have some returns that I need to do. I need to go to Victoria's Secret and then I need to take some of those sneakers back to Nordstrom. Um, uh, well, I think she's about to give me a ticket. Okay, I'm gonna go. Uh, let me go, let me go, let me go. Hey guys, uh, today is Monday. It's the third, 13, it's 1.13. It is the 19th of August. Um, and I'm going in for my fourth appointment today for laser hair removal. Um, I have a, another lip and chin session today. I'm hoping today that we will price out and possibly start if we can. Maybe not, probably won't, but make an appointment for next time for getting another body part done. I'm thinking about moving to like my stomach area. Um, that's what we're doing today. This is what we're looking like. No growth, no greedy growth has happened. Thing looks good. As you can see, there is no hair, none, any, nothing, 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 nothing. And then my lip, I did have one pimple, um, but other than that, no hair has really grown back there either. So, um, what is that? So yeah, that's my lip. Like I said before, still getting a little bit of bumps uh, here and there when my hair tries to grow back in. Nothing crazy. This one was, I popped it yesterday. Um, but other than that, I haven't really had any on my chin in a while. So, And even still, the dark spots and stuff are going away. So I used to have dark spots like right here in this area from removing hair. Um, but no dark spots anymore. So. It's looking pretty good. I'm really excited about it. So that's why I'm ready to move on to another hair, another body part because it feels like, you know, everything is coming up easy. So I just got my nails done. I'm about to take a picture of my nails um, and post them. I'm really not, I don't know. They're not like giving me like, I'm not like super, super satisfied with them. I think I wanted them to be longer and she cut them down because they were just really long to me but now I don't like them short so that's my bad it's nothing that she did I just I don't like them because they're too short now I want the long ones back so I have to wait till they grow out again it's fine whatever um so I'm about to take a picture of my nails um I don't know why I couldn't just get out the car but then I'm gonna go inside for my appointment so so we just finished my lip and my chin and we're actually gonna go ahead and start my stomach today so here we go <laughs> Absolutely. And then especially we use different serums on our face mm -hmm. that make it even more sensitive sometimes. So I think it'll be fine. It's just a larger area. That's the, the thing. With your face, it's like it hurts, but it's over like this. And you're like, oh, okay. This is going to take a little longer. That's the only thing that's a little worse. Okay. Okay. You ready? Mm hmm That looks good. Mm-hmm. Okay. So chic. <laughs> Like, I didn't come in here prepared to do this. I was going to say, then we just peer pressured you. I just know, peer right? pressured me into. I mean, but I planned on doing it anyway, so it was like. So I as well, I'm right? here, you know. Just I don't do really it. have any, anything else to do today. <laughs> This is for my babies. 
<laughs> I wear my stomach out a lot too, so. It You're would like be nice crop top ready, up. right? Right. Is this like getting a tattoo for this one? I don't have any of those. You don't have any tattoos? No. I'm Does imagine. it hurt like this? I think a tattoo pain is a little less. Is it? Yeah, depending on the spot. I just have good pain management. Truly, and you have the kind of face that doesn't show it. Yeah. You're the ideal model. But you're doing really good. You don't have like, any numbing cream. I've never done this without numbing cream. Really? No. Does it still hurt with numbing cream? Yes. But I would guess less. I'm too scared to try it myself. Yeah. Without it, yeah. I'm also, I have a very low pain tolerance. So. It's true. Healthcare, we always say you can um, distract your pain mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So, a lot of times, like, I don't know if you've ever seen, like, when people get fillers mm -hmm. and they have to get the needles injected. So, they'll use, like, a vibration. You ever see that little bowl tool that they use? Mm -hmm. It's a vibrator. So, they're vibrating in one area so that your body is your distracted. Body distracted, gotcha. Exactly. How'd you do? Um, good. Yeah. What is the matter? It's just, like I said, it's like getting your ear pierced on your stomach over and over, over and over. <laughs> it's not like a bad pain. No. It's just like a, like mm, yeah, not good, but not bad. Much better than the chin. Let me tell you. Oh yeah, the oh. chin is like yeah. a tear. If the you body is the face, then I think you can, you can do anything. Anywhere. Except the Brazilians, a different ball game. Yeah, yeah I'm sure. It's a different yeah, ball game. I'm sure. Um, was, even when I get waxed, them, it still hurts, but I just kind of ignore it. It looks so good. But. So these little kind of bumpy areas, that's normal. That's kind of just the hair follicles, the actual hair follicles responding. Okay. You can see what we call crepitus here. You see those little black areas that are poking out? Mm -hmm. That's the actual hair follicle kind of responding to the laser as well and jumping out. Okay. So uh, same with your face. You're going to notice all this hair grows back like it normally does. It's going to okay. grow back. And then over the next week or two, as it grows, it's going to just kind of fall out, okay? You don't want to wax or pick at it. You can shave it if you want to, but just don't pick at it. It can be really, really tempting because you'll try to pick at it and it just kind of falls out in your hand and people get kind of pluck happy. Don't get pluck happy, okay? Just okay. let it fall out on its own, okay? okay? What happens if I get pluck happy? I mean, it just doesn't respond as well. Okay. You know so you want the hair follicles to be able to naturally push the hair out without you kind of forcing it. it. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Exactly. So let your body do its thing. So if it grows back, then I can shave it. You can shave it, but just don't wax it or pluck it. Or nair, because the nair kind of disturbs the area of the hair. Okay. That's a no one. Okay. Today, because we did this larger surface area, I would avoid any heat containing activities. Okay. So sauna, jacuzzi. Okay. okay. Um, I'd also avoid any strenuous exercise. So if you're going to do cardio or a hit class today, I'd oh, kind of. You can work out, but you can do something low impact. Not just something that you're not going to be just sweating a whole oh, lot with, okay? I don't do so, that. like yoga, <laughs> yoga, but I do mostly okay. weight training. So, just like. But do you do really heavy weights that you're, no. where you're sweating a lot, though? Because no. some weight training can be considered cardio. So, just nothing where I sweat a lot. Yeah, don't sweat too much. And I wouldn't put on like a waist trainer. I know some people are waist trainers. No, I don't do sweat that. more. Okay. Don't do that. I barely sweat. Okay. I mean, okay. that's probably not a good thing, but I don't. Sweat. Okay. All right. <laughs> Questions, concerns? No. Anything else? No, I think that's it. So just finished my stomach session. I, <laughs> I just came to get in the car and this dude like walked by my car and he was like, you and I'm like, what? And I walked around the car, I was like, excuse me? And he's like, you're beautiful. I'm like, oh, thank you. Well, thanks. I don't know what it is. I think people really like these faux locks because I keep getting a lot of compliments. Like, oh my God, you're so pretty. Like, oh my God. I'm like, is it the faux locks? I mean, do you like Rasta Vicky? Because we can keep her for a little bit longer if y'all really feeling her or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not mad at it. Um, that went well. Um, the session went well, I think. So six weeks, I'll be back getting my stomach and my lip and chin. So the lip and chin is still painful um, from like the last time I updated you guys on the pain. That's the same level of pain it is now, but I feel like the stomach was like a level one pain. This was, the lip and chin is like a level three, four pain out of 10. <laughs> I don't know, I have really good pain management. I think I just am really like resilient to pain. Like, Okay, gonna go now so I can go get my eyebrows done and then we'll be done with self-care day. I'm probably not gonna work out tonight just because they said not to do anything that's too sweaty, no strenuous exercise. 
so I'm gonna try not to work out too heavy today if I do anything I'll just do some really light work on my legs but probably won't do too much um, so yeah I'll come back and talk to you guys later